Hey everybody, Cody Marr here. We're in a, a beautiful California Reservoir Lake today. Had a great time fishing and I get asked all the time. You know, I love finesse fishing. I love using that light line, especially in tough tournaments. I feel like I really can excel uh, because I like finesse fishing so much, but I get asked all the time, hey, what rod and reel do you use for a drop shot, shaky head, wacky rig? And I want to share with you guys today some of those secrets. For starters, the drop shot, you know, that is something that I have been throwing for a long time. I can remember when Aaron Martins came out in uh, 1999 on one of my home lakes. I was still in high school, believe it or not. And uh, I was out there fishing and I fell in love with the drop shot right away. I still throw it. It's a thing that, that's always going to catch a fish. But the rod is really important. If you don't have the right rod and reel, just like any technique on the market, you're going to lose fish. So for starters, a couple different ways I like to throw the drop shot. If I'm throwing it on really light line, you know, that four to six pound test, I like a seven foot rod uh, plus, you know, but starting with seven foot and a medium heavy action. You know, Daiwa has a perfect action here in the Steez rod. And what I like about it is the tip is going to be really soft, but it's going to have some backbone. So what that's going to do when you're throwing that bait out there, you're going to have your weight on the bottom, your hook above. Uh, of course, you know, and you're going to be slowly fishing that bait and that tip is going to allow that bait and weight to stay where it's supposed to be, meaning that weight's going to stay on the bottom and it's not going to hop that weight up and down and off the bottom. Uh, and then when the fish bites and you set the hook or you load into that fish, that backbone is really going to help you. So I like the, the 701 medium light uh, steez for a drop shot rod. And then if I'm throwing bigger line, like an eight to a 10 pound test, maybe I'm fishing for, you know, big small mouth. Uh, or you need that bigger line or I'm fishing some grass lakes like we did today, you know, that's when I'm going to go to like this seven foot medium action rod. And again, it's a, it's a perfect action for the drop shot just because the rod's really going to load up. So, you know, that's going to be kind of my one, two punch for the drop shot rod here from Daiwa. Uh, as far as a reel goes, uh, you know, I like anything from the new Daiwa Certe. Uh, you know, the exist, just something with a good drag. And that's the great thing about Daiwa. All the reels are going to have an amazing drag. And uh, that's really important when you're fishing with light line. You know, as far as uh, fishing a shaky head, a wacky rig, or a tube, that's when I'm going to go with a little bit longer of a rod. You know, this is a seven foot three Daiwa Kronos. It's a medium heavy. And I find it's just the perfect action for fishing these baits. It's a little bit heavier of a rod because of, you know, it's a medium heavy. And uh, I can properly fish these baits, especially when I'm fishing something like a tube, you know. I might be casting that thing way out there, or a shaky head, or a wacky rig, and you're going to have a lot more line out. So that extra three inches, you know, that seven foot three is going to make a difference in landing some of those fish. And again, one thing with the reel I love about these new reels, it's a high speed reel. It's a five, six to one gear ratio. So, you know, you're going to be able to pick up a lot of line quick. These rods are, are built to use braid to fluorocarbon or straight fluorocarbon, whatever you want. But uh, both of these rods, or all three of those rods, are going to be perfect for those applications. So, you guys, it's extremely important to have the right rod and reel combo. Uh, again, I, I do this for a living. So, if I have the wrong combo out there when I'm fishing and I lose a fish, it could cost me a lot of money. So, uh, make sure you guys pay attention to what, uh, what you're using. Check these combos out. They're going to help you catch more and bigger fish. I guarantee it.